Hi, this is Gary Rosenzweig with Flash Game University, flashgameu.com, and today a short video podcast about uh, collision detection in ActionScript 3. Works a little bit different than collision detection in previous versions of ActionScript, but basically the same idea. I've got a demo movie actually in Chapter 2 of the book, ActionScript 3.0 Game Programming University, um, and that shows the two different types of basic collision detection. The first is called the hit test point which basically tests a single point on the screen to see if it collides with a movie clip or any display object. Second is hit test object, which will actually test two objects to see if they overlap in any way. So to take a look at some code here that I have in the sample movie, we can see that uh, basically what's going to happen is uh, as the frame loops, um, we're going to call check collision. So we're going to call this function here just over and over again, just to test out the uh, collision detection. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to check hit test point. So we have two movie clips on the stage. The first is called a crescent, the second is called the star. And they're just labeled, you can see in the properties, crescent and star. And what we'll do here is we'll go ahead and test the crescent. If a crescent hit test point and then the mouse X and mouse Y and we're going to go ahead and look at the location of the mouse and see if it collides with the crescent using hit test point. And what will happen here is we're going to, we put true as the third parameter. Uh, if we put false, it would actually look for the box around the crescent, which would be uh, this blue box right here, which isn't what we want. We want it to see if it's really colliding with this crescent object. So we put true there to have it uh, be defined by the object shape rather than the bounding box. And if um, it is indeed, uh, hit test point is indeed true, it will be hit test point, yes, in this text uh, display area. If not, it will be no. Similarly, uh, for the star, we're going to go ahead and uh, do something a little different. What we're going to do is we're going to set the star location to the mouse X and Y location. So the, so the registration point here of the star is going to follow the cursor as we move around. They'll basically be locked together like this. Then we're going to go and see if uh, the star and the crescent overlap. So use hit test object. So you can see the two different things you can do. Hit test point, which takes an X and a Y location, and a third parameter as well that we talked about. And hit test object, which is basically just two movie clips and whether they overlap or not. So if we test this movie out, we can see that yes indeed the star is moving along with the cursor. Now, ignoring uh, the hit test object for now, just looking at hit test point, we see that as we go in here and we get closer to it, it still says no. As we intersect it, it says yes. So it's the point at which the cursor is located. You can see it changes yes and no. Now, the second thing we want to look at is the star itself. And imagine that blue box around the star. When it overlaps with the blue box of the crescent, it says yes. So it's not necessarily looking to see if the star overlaps with the crescent in shape, but whether the two boxes overlap. A common question, of course, is how do I get it so that I can test whether or not the star and the crescent overlap directly? And there is no simple way to do that in ActionScript. Uh, we can do some much more convoluted ways using uh, Im image scripting uh, to see if the two images uh, overlap in some way with our pixels. Or for something like the star, we can actually test each of the five points. But there's no direct way to say whether or not uh, these two objects intersect with each other. So it's just something to be worked out with a much longer function or class that uh, you create should you need that. But most times in games I find that hit test point is what you're really looking for uh, to be able to determine if a point, say the tip of a uh, spaceship, uh, intersects the tip of some object it's supposed to collide with. Um, and so this will do. So there's a good look at the hit test point and hit test object. This has been Gary with Flash Game University.